Well, thieves are known to strike vehicles over the holiday season, but a local business is searching for answers after two of their beehives were stolen from a field in Canada. CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver has more on that interesting story tonight. Annie. Matt, the company is called G's Bees and they have dozens of hives right across the city. But tonight, this family-owned business is asking why two of their hives were stolen within the last week. Yeah, the two hives were sitting here and they were all ratchet strapped to the pallet. It's the last thing Matt and Mary Ann G ever thought would happen to their buzzing business, especially over Christmas. I came by with my son and uh, it just I looked up at the hill and I'm like, the bees are gone. And uh, I went out and I took a walk around in the grass to see if maybe they were just moved or something and no, nope, gone. Gone were two 75 pound hives home to more than 30,000 bees trying to survive the winter. All that was left, this empty pallet and two heartbroken beekeepers. We have bears and mites and pesticides and crazy weather. And now we have to worry about people stealing beehives. Like it, it, it's pretty disappointing actually. This was just one of many beehives that Matt and Marianne had set up across the city. They currently have more than two dozen beehives, and this is their way of trying to increase the bee population and to raise awareness about the good work that bees do. If you're trying to like help out and do your part, and you come by and someone stole your part, it's not uh, very nice to see. These guys look nice and healthy. See how the sweet yellow, couple own G's Bees, renting like hives to businesses and homeowners to make their own honey. So it's not the investment in these hives that hurts, but the thought someone would hurt their beloved bees. If it starts getting cold and you start shaking the bees around, their cluster's going to break up and they probably won't have a very good chance of surviving. Although the chances are slim, Matt and Mary Ann are holding out hope someone will know where their bees went. I'm hoping maybe somebody saw them in, in a truck, you know, going out of here or up the road. Um, we'd really like to bring them home. The couple has no idea why anybody would take their beehives. They say that a real beekeeper wouldn't risk moving the hives because the bees would likely be killed. They have filed a police report in the hopes of finding some type of answer about where those bees went. Matt? CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver reported live for us tonight. Thank you, Annie. You're welcome.